of Simister. I'm at the 2014 Vans Warped Tour and I'm here with Garrett of The Main. And how are you enjoying Warped Tour? It's awesome. We're almost done, which is crazy. It's gone by pretty fast. So. Summer's flying away. Yeah. Time flies when you have fun. Yeah. And I know you guys did this tour in, was it 2009? Yeah. We did it, first time was in 08 and then we did the whole thing in 09. Do you notice any differences on the tour or is it still pretty much the same? Uh, a lot of less, I remember in 09, I remember like a bunch of cranky bands, like a bunch of people that were just bad at other bands. Oh, that's not nice. And like talking shit on other people, and I haven't heard any of that, so it's been cool. And I know you guys are now under 8123 management, which yeah. is a whole different ball game for you guys. Yeah. You got Nick Santino, is that correct on the yeah. label with you? Yep, we uh, actually, me and Pat, our drummer, just recorded his new record um, in our studio so. in uh, Phoenix. So that came out a few, like a month ago. So Very yeah. good. Pick up your copy right yeah. now. It's an order from Planet yeah. Stereo. That's what we got to do. Um, how are you coping with the Florida heat? I know you're from Phoenix, so this is probably like, ah, this is easy. I was actually born in Florida. So wow, Coral okay. Springs. And, Fun uh, fact. Yeah. <laughs> So I lived in it for a little while. I come back like every year to see family and stuff. So I, I know what it's about. And plus we've toured here a bunch. Uh, we know what it is. It's hot as shit though. Oh, Actually, yeah. today's been the nicer of the Florida days. So. Well, how was West, was West Palm bad yesterday or? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But St. Pete was the worst. That, I've never felt like that in my whole life. It yeah. was disgusting. St. Pete is blistering hot. Yeah. It's not nice. It was crazy. And I know in uh, was it Seattle it just rained constantly? Yeah. Was that the rain? Uh, yeah, that was the rainy one. And then Buffalo it rained too when we played. But that was kind of cool. <laughs> it, it was like it, it was like a religious moment. It was like, oh. So we now know the answer to one of your questions too, would you rather? Oh, God. <laughs> um, so what do you think makes a really good live set? I know you guys are fantastic live and you always put on a great show. How do you accomplish a great live set? Uh, you know, we always like to switch it up and not play the same songs and whatnot. Um, and then like, if it's like an older song, sometimes like switching up the, the mood of it is always fun. So we do that a lot. Um, I think just something that like, if you've seen us before, it's something at least different every yeah. time. And then uh, just getting the crowd excited. You're the third member of the main that I've ever interviewed. And I asked this question to Jared and to John, and I gotta ask you. Okay. Do you read the fan fiction? Because we get emails with it. Can you go send them our fan fiction? I'm like, I, I'm not friends with them. I can't send them that. I've, I've read a few, but just because it's gotten like insane. Just the really, there was one that was like sent to us and it was Ooh. fucking insane. I don't remember what it was, but it was, it was funny to read. Kids, so you, you get kids good got giggles. a good, uh, it's, it's, I, I don't have a problem with it because it's like kids coming up with stories. It's cool. Like it is weird, but at least they're using their minds. Well, we got sent one a few weeks ago and I won't name names, but you know who you are. And uh, they made you guys sound like something like Fabio from a romance novel. It was so weird. Wow, that's cool. I was just kind of like, why did you send this to me? Super hunks. Not Long us. flowing hair and yeah. the whole works. It was very strange. That's so funny. Very, very strange. If I can find it, I will send it to your Please publicist. do. I'd love to read it. What was your first warp Tour memory? Uh, I went in, I think it was 2003. <laughs> and I remember when the used played, I went in the crowd with my brother and it was one of those things where there's so many people and then like one person falls and then the whole crowd just like moves. Domino effect sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, and I lost my shoe. And oh, so I the rest lost of my the, shoe at my first work tour. Yeah, the rest of the day I was just stepping in mud with one, with my left foot. It oh, was, I found mine. That's cool though. And I know a lot of people are getting tattoos on Warp Tour. Have you gotten any Warp Tour tattoos? Yeah, I got this in 2009. It's the year I was born. You got your 1990 tattoo. Look at that yeah. all funky. We'll have to get a picture of that before, yeah. we, uh, before we sign off. And now we're going to play Warp Tour Would You Rather. This is a pretty fun game. It's our second year of playing it. Cool. So let's see how you fare. Uh, you've already basically answered this question. Would you rather have your set rained out or your bus break down? Oh, rain, for sure. Religious moment for you. Yeah, it was cool. Would you rather find stowaways on your bus or leave a band member behind? Uh, stowaways would be uncomfortable. Uh, we can leave Kenny somewhere. Leave Kenny somewhere? Yeah, we'll leave Kenny somewhere. Poor guy. It's all right. Poor guy. Would you rather be on a long flight with Green Day or Blink-182? Green Day. You are the first person to answer Green Day today. Really? Yeah. Why Green Day? I don't know. They're more punk. 
Bug Punk? Yeah, and they listen. I mean, I heard that Billy Joel or Billy Joe's first or favorite band is uh, The Replacements, <laughs> and he's actually playing with them right now. And I would actually just talk to him about The Replacements the whole flight. Um, would you rather bungee jump or skydive? Skydive, like yeah, I would not want to do either. But bungee jump, I mean, if you're gonna do something like that, go the full Monty. Yeah, just do the whole thing, I guess. Would you ever climb on the stage and like flip upside down off of it? Because I know people do that here. Too. I've jumped off the stage a few times. I fell off the stage. I've done pretty much everything you can do on stage. I, it's, I've done. I take it, it you've got some injuries. I've puked. I've uh, I've had to. I've never peed on stage, but I've had to pee. I got a bloody nose on this tour, which is the whole it, the second show or the second song. It just started. It was just bleeding the oh. whole set. So it looked like a massacre happened in front of me. Well, I mean, you know, the main is kind of a cult. Isn't it? We have to admit it. Yeah. You got your fans, your fans are cult members. Would you rather go to the wrong stage or mess up on your own song? Uh, I get mess. I mess up like every day, so. Not a big deal. Yeah, I do it. It's just it's so often. If you don't mess up, then you're just not doing it right. Yeah, you're not doing it right. <laughs> or you're right. cheating and you're not actually playing. Oh, you mean like One Direction with their fake guitar thing? People that they do did? that, man. People do that. It's fucked up. Would you rather get pranked by Of My Cement or We Are The In Crowd? Uh, I don't know. I don't know Of My Cement. I never met them, so maybe it would be more funny if if they pranked us. Nice way of introducing themselves. Yeah. Breaking the ice. Yeah. So Austin Carlisle, you have your challenge. There you go. Please accept it, and I want to hear about it. Would you rather have your makeup done by Jeffrey Star or Black Veil Brides? Black Veil Brides, because that dude played with the Misfits at the <laughs> AP Awards. It was awesome. How was the AP Awards? It was cool. It was cool. Well, we saw yeah. Pat in a dress. I have yeah. to ask about that. Why was Pat wearing a dress? Well, I don't know, because we all got big suits. We, I saw we did, like, the, quite large. We, we wanted to do like the Talking Heads, David Byrne thing, because we thought it'd be... But everyone thought John was Kurt Cobain, which was strange. Yeah, I don't know. They, everyone keeps saying that. Well, we did the big suits because we knew everyone was going to look all snazzy, and we were on Warp Tour for a month and a half, and we knew we weren't going to look good. I mean, you don't bring a suit to Warp Tour. And uh, so we are just like, all right, let's get big suits, because we're not going to look good anyway. And then Pat was like, I'm going to get a dress. And that's what happened. <laughs> well, Pat, you are very, very brave, and we salute you. What is it like touring with some of your old tour mates? Because we know we've got Amber Lynn on this tour, we've got Mayday Parade. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I mean, the Mayday dudes are great guys. Always, always oh, fun yeah. being around them. Um, it's cool meeting new people too. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of people that we, you know, we just, like the Bear Tooth guys. Yeah. They're really nice guys and they're awesome band. They're like the coolest band that's playing. So. Uh, we'll have to check them out then. We'll yeah, them they're really fun. They're heavy and their their singer gets people nuts. Do you have a favorite song from the Deluxe Edition? Uh, I guess Ice Cave, just because it's ridiculous. And we never thought we were gonna record it. The plan was never to record that song. And then when we figured out that we were gonna do this deluxe edition, and, uh, and then that was the first song that we recorded uh, at our own studio. Oh, wow. Uh, like, full band song. So it was cool, it was a cool experience. It's just, yeah, it's a fun song to play live, so. Well, thank you so much during the interview. Yeah. We really, really appreciate it. We had a blast. So you are watching Planet Stereo on YouTube. Keep checking back and watching more videos from the 2014 Vans Warped Tour. And also be sure to go pick up a deluxe edition of Forever Halloween from the main because it is an amazing album. We rave about it every week. Come on, go get one. Thank you so much. On the outside, you are cautious.